From Fox 13, the most powerful name in local news, this is Good Day Tampa Bay. Okay, they say a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. But today might be the day that women object to that statement. We are heating things up with Food Network sensation Dave Lieberman. The foods he says that he won't ever eat. Wow. Thank you all. Thank Th you thanks so for driving much. over from Orlando. This Absolutely. was fun this morning. Okay, ladies, control yourselves. He's an Ivy Leaguer who knows his way around the kitchen. Still ahead on Good Day Tampa Bay. We, we're cooking with the, the Food Network's very own Dave Lieberman. What he says he will never eat. As Jen just told you, the Tampa Boat Show is taking over the Tampa Convention Center this weekend, and now is your chance to win some free tickets from Good Day Tampa Bay. Just call, these are kind of different numbers, so pay attention, 813-870-7146. Again, 870-7146. The 13th, 14th, and 15th callers will all win a free family four-pack of tickets to attend the weekend show. Okay, ladies. Sorry, eat your heart out because we are heating up the Good Day Kitchen with uh, one of the hot hosts of the uh, Food Network. Dave Lieberman's going to join us and he's going to talk about what foods he's making and what, what you never eat. Sure. All right, we'll be back with Dave Lieberman in just a bit. Helping you get your day started, this is Good Day Tampa Bay. Who's hungry today? At 25, he became the Food Network's youngest host. He was 25 and made People Magazine's 50 Hottest Bachelors. And now he's 28. Boy, you've gotten old fast, pal. He is quite the dish, too, ladies. Food Network's Good Deal host, Dave Lieberman, is here in Tampa, and you traveled just to see us. Thank That's you for right. joining us. Well, Appreciate my it. My pleasure. Okay, and your, your main thing is really teaching others some of the tricks about cooking. Absolutely. And yeah. Today you're talking about Spanish food. Spanish food because it's, it's sort of my favorite food to cook Hi. during the summer. Okay. Because it's very simple. It uses all fresh ingredients, um, but it packs. It's, it's, and it's also very bright, I might add. But it also is a perfect way to entertain because there's small little bites, nice variety of food, and uh, again, a lot of minimal. Sorry, cook, cook, cooking going techniques. Into it. Yeah. Okay, and you've yeah. got a big event coming up tonight, ceviche. Yeah, tonight, ceviche okay. in Tampa. Okay. We're actually throwing a tapas party with sangria, and we're inviting the public to come out and taste some of these tapas and taste some of these authentic Spanish ingredients. Well, as you uh, start cooking, okay. you're going to be making what? Okay. Uh, and uh, all right, so I'm making gazpacho. Okay. And I have some other tapas ideas here too, but we're going to make gazpacho, okay. and I'm going to uh, top it with some shrimp that I poach. So let me, uh, you, and you can help me here. Okay, I'd love to. Um, so basically. This is, a, a, this a, dump, this is a dump in, in and food gazpacho processor. And is... Gazpacho is a tomato-based cold. Uh, cold soup. Mm -hmm. It's a... Uh, go ahead and throw some... Okay. It's got oh, cucumbers sure. and onions and garlic. And, and all the recipes are on myfoxtampabay.com, yep. by the way. Yep, and um, I also put them up on, our, um, a res on the oh, website awesome. Olive Oil from Spain because these are all authentic Spanish ingredients. Okay. And, and olive oil is the backbone of, of authentic Spanish what cooking. What about the red peppers? Yep, throw it all in. Uh, is this bread? And this is bread that you soak in water and what that does Can is I it go ahead, yeah absolutely. I, I did just wash my hand <laughs> no no go ahead and what that does is actually going to give the soup some body so and thicken it up a little bit but really um, also what's going to give it that nice consistency go ahead that's a, this? this is a, a red hot red okay, pepper okay. to give just give it a little bit of a kick and then I add some olive oil it's also going to add some richness okay. and also flavor and um, this is one of the sort of more grassy olive oils from uh, from Spain this is Pompan and actually Spain is the world's number one producer of olive oil I don't know if over, uh, Italy? Oh, over Italy way over mm -hmm. Italy 70 percent of world's olive oil let's Do see you get this confused as well yeah yeah because Mine too. actually yeah. mine is, is uh way? yeah okay uh, now um as you're fumbling with that top there are there any foods that you like are get grossed out by you know I try and be a really adventurous eater 
but there are certain things like brains and kidneys and stuff that are on the menu today, like this sort of nose to tail cooking that I'm not really that crazy yeah, about. I, I love sweetbreads though. Do you like sweetbreads? Have you had sweetbreads? I don't know. What I, do you I mean, really sweetbread? Like sweetbreads. Well, we won't talk about that anyway. I'm going to talk we'll about the things I like. Later. I'm okay. Gonna you, and, okay, as you finish up with that. And I, I'm actually just going to uh, finish it with a little bit of uh, this is a vinegar de Jerez. This is a, also a Spanish, a very typical Spanish ingredient. It's sherry vinegar, and it's just going to brighten up the, the gazpacho a little bit. You could also use lemon juice. But, um, you know, a lot of people don't realize that even when you're using these, uh, these ingredients, there's a lot of variation in flavor. So when you talk about olive oils, if you, I, I've set out three different kinds of olive oils here for you to taste if okay, you want to. Right. Because even when, even when a recipe calls for olive oil, it, wait, wait, just my finger. Yeah, no, you can dip oh. it with a little bit of bread. You're going to see that there are really big differences between the olive oils. Some are spicier, some are going to be grassier, greener, some are going to be very mild. That has a kick. It's almost like a spiciness at, at, the, through, at the finish, and mm -hmm. that's Goya. And Goya and Star and Pompan, those are three everyday value brands that are available in every store, oh. but that they have really different characteristics because like they're that. used different olive varietals. And so you want to use them for different uh, reasons. Okay. So for example, let me, let's go plate this, uh, this gazpacho up. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I pour the gazpacho. Is it supposed in a, to be thick like that? Yeah, I like okay. it. I like it okay. thick. Um, you could make it even. You could make it a smoother consistency. It's really how you like it. So um, let me grab a little ladle here, and what I do is I actually finish the gazpacho with some of the poached shrimp and then a little bit of olive oil too. And On you can top choose of it again. exactly, and you can choose the olive oil that you like okay. best um, because it's going to finish. The uh, finish it with the flavor. So here's a couple okay. shrimp on top, right. and and this is one of the things you'll be demonstrating tonight. Yep, yeah, at ceviche we're going to be serving all different kinds oh, of tapas. We're also going to put enough on there. Oh, that that was perfect. Okay. And then um, you can also and you can you want they're also. I want to show the other stuff that's available yes. or that you're going to be we doing have, tonight. We have this is deep well. fried cauliflower with a smoked paprika aioli. Oh, that sounds we good. have um, say that again. Uh, deep aioli fried aioli sauce. Deep. Uh, this is a smoked paprika aioli. Okay. We also have uh, chorizo with manchego and piquillo pepper, again, all Spanish ingredients. We also have a potato cake over there with uh, uh, herb cream. And okay. we're going to have all those, plus a lot of sangria tonight. And that, we brought some sangria for you, actually. Right, and this is a clear or white or White sangria. sangria. You can do white sangria, red sangria. I like to do white sangria during the summer. I find it more refreshing. Yeah, it's Throw cool. lots of fresh fruit and citrus in there and a little bit of brandy just That's for a little bit. the rest of the day. So. Oh, it's not that heavy. You can watch him every Monday morning on the Food Network at 9.30. And you can sample some of his cooking tonight at Ceviche. He is hosting a tapas party featuring everything from the recipe that you saw here to his special, this thing that's in my hand, the white sangria. For all of this information and the recipes, log on to MyFoxTampaBay.com and look under the scene on TV section. And we say cheers to sa sa Dave. Salud. Yeah, salud. salud. Thank you. Take care. Okay.